Hi, it's Bob from the Hopewell Branch of the Mercer County Library. We're back with another trivia. For those of you who have been watching our previous trivias, first thing you can tell is I desperately need a haircut. Also, this is a special trivia. We've reached out to some authors, uh, fiction books, nonfiction books. Some are local that you'll recognize from Mercer County. Uh, some are national that you'll recognize from their books. They've all been kind enough to send us a question about one of their books. Should be a very interesting quiz. Um, as in the past, they'll ask the question, they'll pause for a second, and if you need a little bit more time, just hit the pause button, think about the question, and then you can resume to hear the answer. Hope you enjoy this. Here we go. Hi, my name is Michael Angel, and I'm the author of The Devil's News, a medical thriller. The hero of my novel, is an epidemiologist. So my trivia question to you is, who is considered the father of modern epidemiology? The answer is Jon Snow. And no, I don't mean the Game of Thrones character. Dr. Jon Snow stopped a deadly outbreak of cholera in London in 1854. He did this by tracking the movements of everybody affected and found they all crossed at one specific contaminated well. By removing the pump of this well, he saved hundreds of people from dying. Hi, my name is Fiona Davis. I'm the author of The Chelsea Girls. And my trivia question is, near the end of the book, my character Hazel, who lives at the Chelsea Hotel, runs into two people in the elevator. One of them she describes as a shaggy-haired, deep-voiced Canadian poet, and the other is named Janice and is wearing a ratty blue fur coat. My trivia question is, who are these people? And the answer is Leonard Cohen and Janis Joplin. They actually met at the Chelsea Hotel and had a brief affair. And he wrote his song, Chelsea Hotel Number no. Two, about their experience together. Thanks. Hi, I'm Ken Kalfas. One of my novels is about a 19th century astronomer who is trying to signal to the, planet, to the planet Mars that there is intelligent life on Earth. His project is to dig a huge geometrical symbol in the Egyptian desert. What symbol is it? The astronomer is digging in the desert, 300 miles to a side, an equal sided triangle, known as an equilateral triangle. The title of my novel is Equilateral. Thank you. I would like to let you know this next question comes from author Lisa C. The divers that I wrote about in the Island of Sea Women can hold their breath underwater for two to four minutes. My trivia question is, what's the world record for holding your breath under the water? The answer, 22 minutes and 22 seconds. Amazing. Hi, I'm Blake Crouch, author of Wayward Pines, Dark Matter and Recursion. Wanted to send, uh, first of all, best wishes and uh, all health and safety to the Hopewell branch of the Mercer County Library in New Jersey. Stay strong, guys. And I wanted to do a uh, trivia question. This is from my book, Dark Matter. What is the name of the prize that Jason Dessen's friend, Ryan Holder, has just won at the beginning of Dark Matter? If you said the Pavia Prize, you're correct. And a little fun side note, the Pavia Prize was named after my editor at Penguin Random House, Julian Pavia. So you guys stay safe out there. Uh, sending love and light from Durango, Colorado. Cheers. Hello, my name is Jenny L. Walsh and I am an author local to Philadelphia. I write books for kids and also for adults. Um, and I'm going to ask you a question today from Becoming Bonnie. So Becoming Bonnie is a story inspired by Bonnie and Clyde. 
and it tells the story of how Bonnie actually met Clyde. Now in the book, and also in real life, Bonnie has a tattoo. So my question for you today is what is that tattoo? So yes, the tattoo is of Roy. Now Roy, a lot of people don't know, is actually Bonnie's first husband and she was married before meeting Clyde. And apparently he was important enough to put a tattoo on her upper thigh. <laughs> so thank you for playing guides and for listening. Hi, this is Larry Kidder. I've got a question for you about a book that I've written about the Pleasant Valley School, which is the schoolhouse associated with Howell Living History Farm. And the question is, that schoolhouse became part of the Hopewell Valley School system in 1894. And we know today that there are four elementary schools in Hopewell. And my question is, how many schools were there, how many elementary schools were there when the system started, the Hopewell Valley School system started in 1894? Okay, the answer is 14. There were 14 schools. Most of them were little one-room country schoolhouses, and they were spread all over the township because the kids basically walked to school, everybody. And so every farming area um, had a school centrally located where the kids could get to it very easily every day. Thank you. Hello, I'm Beverly Mills, co-author of If These Stones Could Talk. Here's a question about my fourth great-grandfather, Frost Blackwell. When Frost Blackwell was freed from slavery through the will of his master, Andrew Blackwell, what two life-changing gifts did Frost receive from this will? Here's the answer. In 1818, Andrew Blackwell died. In his will, which was probated in 1819, he referred to Frost as his servant man and left him his freedom and $100. Hi, I'm Alan Wiseman. So the question is, why would I write a book called The World Without Us? And the answer is because I want a world with us. I want readers to see how quickly nature could heal if it was relieved of the pressures that we heap on it every day. And then ask, how can we find a way to add ourselves back to the picture of a healthy, restored planet, only this time without screwing it up? I hope we can. Thank you. My name is Elaine Buck. I'm the co-author of If These Stones Could Talk. African-American presence in the Hopewell Valley, Sourland Mountain, and surrounding regions of New Jersey. My trivia question is, what is the name of the schooner that brought Africans from Guinea up the Delaware River to this region? The answer is the schooner Hannah. Hope you enjoyed that quiz. Uh, thanks again to the authors for reaching out and, and coming through for us and helping with some questions. Um, hope you enjoyed those. We'll be back with some more quizzes. Uh, just a reminder that their books are available on our online database if you want to check out and read some of what those authors have written. Uh, you can also check out many other things on our online base. Also, don't forget to go to our YouTube channel and check out some of our previous videos. Everybody stay safe and we'll be back with more down the road.